Today we'll be looking at um, possible possible NECO question in a polymetric analysis. And what we have here is a question say that the solution A contains 0 0.04 mole per GM cube of the trace of a cis acid solution. B is a solution of sodium triazole carbonate, carbonate four salts in one GM cube of solution. So it puts, so it puts A into the bullets and titrates with 20 or 25 CM cube of B using methyl range as an as indicator. Record the volume of your pipettes, tablet your bullet reading, and calculate the average volume of A used from your results and information provided. Calculate the concentration of B in more per DMQ. Concentration of B in gram per DMQ. Volume of carbon 4 oxide liberated at STP. Every other information are given to us. The relative atomic masses and molecular masses are given to us here. And then the molar volume is also given to us. And the equation of equation of reaction is also given to us. And this is the the table, the tabulated experiment, the volumetric analysis on the very question given to us. So here, if you look up here, you find out that um, this is what we have in a tabular form and the first thing that which is the first thing they say we should do here and now the next thing we're going to do here is to get the average volume before you do this average volume you will be you will make sure that uh, you make sure you take the ones that are close to each other if you look at this place you find out that um, the number is 21.3 21.3 um, or caught twice so we can go with go with that or possibly um, because of the difference between them, we can also make do with all of them. But I prefer using the two that are very close to each other. That's what I'm going to use to get this thing done. So let's see how we can calculate the average volume. Like they said here, say that average volume of A use. The average volume of A use. So to get the average volume of A use, so we're going to use 20. 1.3 and 21.3 which occur to be uh, the same so they happen to be the same so what we have here average volume of a used average volume of a used um is 21.3 plus 21.3 all over 2 so everything we see here is turn back to this 21.3 TM cube. That's the first instruction. The first instruction they say that we should do. Say so from the results received, this is a, one of the results that we have or our information. The information gives say that I should calculate the concentration of B in more per DM cube. Complete concentration of B in more per DM cube. To do this, now here is we're going to use our Relation, relation of CB and VB equals to A over B, where um, the CA is equal to 0 0.04 moles and VA is equal to 21.3 TM cube. And our CA, CB is unknown, question mark, and then V, VB is 25 CM cube. Now, A and B, that's the memo ratio. If you come here, you find out that this is 1, 1. That means you can say B is equal to 1, A is equal to 1, while B is also equal to 1. So we're going to substitute. If you substitute that, uh, what we're going to have here will then be we substitute the values. We have 0 0.04 times 21.3 all over 
25 times C B equal to 1 over 1. So crossing over we have times 21.3 all over 25 equal to C B C B. So what we have here will then be we have 0 0.034 mole a DM cube. That is what we have. So this is the word. We've succeeded in getting the word concentration. Say concentration on B in mole per DM cube. That is what we have here. That is 0 0.034 mole per DM cube. So we'll go over to the next question. Set concentration of B in gram per DM cube. Concentration of B in gram per DM cube. Concentration of B in gram per DM cube. So we have the mole concentration. We have the mole concentration, and we know that mole is equal to mass over what molar mass. Mole over mole is equal to mass over molar mass. So the molar mass of this M M I say is M M, -M is a sodium is 23. Um 23. Okay, we have it two times here. That means two bracket 23. And then carbon is one. That is 12. And then oxygen is equal to 3 bracket 16. So that means 3 we multiply 16, 2 we multiply 23, and when we sum everything up, we we'll have 106 0, gram per mole. So now we know that our mole is already this mole concentration. That means mass. Making mass the subject of the formula would we'll have it to be. Um, zero point zero three four times one oh six that will give us three point six gram per dm cube. That is approximately three point six gram per dm cube. Approximately, that is the mass concentration. The next one the study should do here is we are going to calculate the volume of carbon 4 liberated at STP. Now at STP, at STP, the volume of carbon 4 liberated, and we know that our mole concentration is a DM cube. So now looking at the equation, equation here, this equation we have Oh, no, 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 no. Water plus carbon four. All right. Now, from this equation, you notice that one mole of this liberates 22.4 dm cube of carbon four. That is, you know, at STP. At STP, the molar volume of ga any gas at STP is what? 22.4 GM cube or 22.4 liter or 22,400 CM cube. So that's what it means. So here now we say that one mole, one mole of will give us. 22.4 GM cube of carbon 4. So now 0 0.0234 moles will then give us 22.4 over 1 times 0 0.034. 
um, 4. So multiplying through, what we have will be 0 .0, 0 0.7 um, C2 dm cube or 7 C2 cm cube. That is, if you want to convert it to cm cube, for in dm cube is 0 0.7 C2 dm cube. Um, that is what we have here, and it seems that we have come to the end of the um, the analysis. And then I will want you to um, subscribe if you have not, and then you can comment, leave your comment there. We want to go through your comments and then give you the possible um, response. And then if you 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 can like share let people know about us and then um thank you once again for being part of the class